to my channel and welcome to today's clean and decorate with me for Halloween part two if you guys haven't seen part one I will link it down below for you guys I've been super into Halloween this year so I got a bunch of new decor and especially for today's video I'm gonna show you guys all the cool stuff I got from Target at home and I also went to um, TJ Maxx and home goods so I got a bunch of stuff so I'm super excited to show you guys this video today and how I decorate my house for Halloween I'm gonna be decorating my living room and my entryway and I'm keeping everything pretty simple this year and very minimal but still really cool looking for Halloween so I'm pretty fast of my theme this year is kind of like mostly black and white and then kind of having like a little bit of purples and a little bit of oranges but mostly black and white i just think it looks really classy and super cool if you guys are new to my channel hi my name is yelena and i'm a stay-at-home mom to a toddler and a little newborn baby boy and i love doing homemaking kind of videos here on youtube i do a lot of cleaning motivation videos a lot of decorating and especially this year i'm really into decorating so i'm gonna be showing you a bunch of really fun um decor and posts. so be sure to subscribe to my channel turn on those post notifications i post every sunday and every wednesday so you can expect new videos from me every single week but without further ado let's get started with today's halloween 2021 clean and decorate with me all right so in this box i have some stuff from last year which i think i'm only going to use a couple things most of it is stuff outside like this kind of stuff um we're going to hang outside and then there's like a couple pumpkins and um skeletons so i might use a couple things from here like the spiders and stuff i might use some of this for the inside but i haven't figured that out yet i'm only pretty much going to use some of the new stuff in the living room and entryway so i'm going to start from this area i got this really cute happy halloween sign from at home and then i got this one from there a real witch lives here with her little monsters i thought this was adorable and everything is super reasonable i think this was only like it's definitely under five dollars i think it was like three something and then i got this really cute pumpkin from there and then also this one it's kind of goes with my theme of black and white and this cat we have a cat so i thought this was so cute and then they had these really cool um little spiders there so i got two of them and the orange ones so black and orange ones and then I also got these candy corn lights from at home. So all this was at home. And then underneath here, I actually found this really big mirror that I've been looking for for a front door because we have a picture there and I just didn't want to spend a lot of money. All of them have been super expensive, like at Target and stuff. So I found this one for only $40 from at home and it's perfect for the entryway. So I'm gonna go ahead and also install this. This was only $40, which is cheaper than everywhere else I've looked. And then this was under $5, enter, enter if you dare. So I'm just gonna put this by the front door. Thought that one was really cool. So I got a bunch of stuff from at home. If you guys have one near you, like I definitely recommend going because they have a ton of really cool stuff for very cheap. And then moving on to here, this is like this stuff I got from Home Goods. I got this really big candle that I thought was really cool. It says boo on it. It's super cute. And then I also got this thing. I think it's for makeup brushes. It says some days I'm extra witchy, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I think I might put it in my bedroom, but I don't know yet. And then I got this for our bathroom. It just says resting witch face, which I'm not going to decorate our bedrooms this year, but I just thought I would put this in there. That was cute. And then these I actually already had. I can't remember where I found them. I think from the dollar store last year, but I thought they were really cool for this year for the bar area. And then I got this super cute tree from Home Goods. It actually lights up, so I'm going to use that. I love the sparkles on it. Um, yeah, that's from Home Goods. And then got these ones from the dollar section at Target and I thought they were really cute. So I'm gonna put them somewhere in our bar. Those are really cool. Oh my gosh, you guys, I wanna show you this cause this is the cutest thing ever. But we found this at Ross yesterday and it's seriously so cute. They had a bunch there still. So if you have a little baby, I definitely would recommend checking 
Ross out and so adorable. This is a really good Halloween activity and you can build like a little scary graveyard and it comes with like all this stuff, the little sprinkles, little leaves, bones, pumpkins, and then all the different things like ghost, fence coffin, everything's like chocolate and you just like, you can build it with your kids. I thought this would be really fun to do with my toddler as a family for Halloween. We're actually gonna start on this early because he's been wanting to do this. So I might get a couple of these just to do throughout October. Thought that was adorable, seriously so cute and looks really fun. And then, we went to Walmart yesterday and I found these 98 cent garlands for Halloween. So I might put these on our fireplace. And then I also got this one. It's pretty festive. I thought it was really cool. And then what else did I get there? And then I also got... Wait, what is this? Okay, so I also got this one from um, Walmart too. It's a garland as well. And it's like the spider web one. And then I got some stuff from online from Amazon. This is just like a boo pillowcase cover that I thought I could use on one of the pillowcases or one of the pillows in the living room. And then I also ordered these 56 piece bats that came with like the stick on things from Amazon. They're like under $8 right now on Amazon. I will link everything down below for you guys because it's a really great deal. And they're different sizes too. So I thought that would be really cool to use in the living room. And then this is just like a, a garland that I got for the bar. So I will show you how I decorate that. And then on to some other stuff. I got this really cute soft Halloween blanket at Home Goods. And it was only, let's see, $16.99. But I thought that would be cute for the living room. It's super soft. And then I got these set of two pillows from Home Goods. I have skulls in them too from, from Home Goods. Came in a set of two for like $24. And then I also got this boo pillow from there. I'm super excited to decorate with you guys.
and bruises Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright Like a ricochet, it will come back to you Now that I finished taking down all the fall decor and cleaning up the living room area, it's on to decorating my couch. I'm obsessed with these skull pillows from Home Goods. I definitely recommend getting them because a set of two of them was like $24. And then the boo pillow, I just think not overcrowding your couch with pillows and blankets looks so much better and a lot more minimal and you don't have to overdo it it still looks very festive so i'm just keeping the three pillows with a really nice pumpkin blanket and it looks really cozy and still looks very festive for halloween I'm also keeping it very minimal on the fireplace mantle this year and just putting the garlands up there with the little tree and hanging a few spiders and stuff like that. So not too many things on there, just mostly the garlands and then the cute little decor pieces. But other than that, I decided to keep everything pretty minimal and it looked really good against the white fireplace. So definitely love all the decor this year. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For I pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this place
wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. I showed you guys these new candy corn lights that I got earlier and I had no idea where to place them so I decided to put them on our plant. Plants are pretty summery and I feel like it's very hard for them to be kind of festive but adding some cool lights to them I feel like makes them look a little bit better and not as summery and just kind of adds to the Halloween theme. I think it turned out pretty cute so if you guys have plants this is a great way to kind of decorate it and make it flow a little bit better in the room because this area is honestly not very used right here we just have this big chair and nobody really sits on it besides our cats so i never know what to do with it or how to decorate this area so i'm just using our old blankets on there and just putting them on there so it's kind of an ignored area but i just literally add a little pillows and blankets and that's basically all i put in that area and then here I'm just lighting my favorite boo candle and adding those little pumpkins that were on top of the TV island thing and I'm just adding them in the corner. This area is highly used by us and our toddler so pretty sure I'll be moving the candle and the pumpkins because our toddler just starts moving everything around the house and here I'm just adding the little skeleton pumpkin and some spiders so not too many things around here but still makes it pretty festive and just a little decorations look cute on there
So here I'm just putting together the garland that goes above our bar. I ordered this on Amazon and I did not realize you guys that it came completely apart. So you have to put this string through each individual letter and kind of put it together. I'm not used to this because the Walmart ones were already put together. So just keep that in mind. If you are ordering stuff from like Amazon, they may not be completely put together, but that's okay. It just took me a while to kind of get the hang of it and put all the letters together. And it turned out so good. I think I'm just obsessed with it. I think it turned out so cute and fit perfectly in our little area right there in the bar. So definitely recommend it if you have like an area like this or a little bar cart or something. It just looks really festive and cute and turned out so good. So yeah, just keep in mind that you might have to put it together. Moving on to the entryway, I'm not doing a lot here because it's a pretty small space and like I said, I like to keep everything pretty minimal. I'm really excited to hang my new mirror. I can't believe I found this for $40 at home and uh, it just looks so good and fills that space perfectly and kind of matches the whole area and the whole black and white theme. I'm just cleaning the mirror now and starting to decorate that little space. I think everything turned out super cute. I don't put a lot of stuff in this area, but I just got those little cute decorations from at home and everything turned out pretty good and looks really festive and cute for the walkway area. Alright you guys, that is it for my clean and decorate for Halloween part 2. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and enjoyed cleaning and decorating with me. I hope you got lots of stuff done with me. It literally feels amazing to have everything cleaned and decorated. I don't know about you guys, but literally my mental health feels a hundred times better when the whole house is just put together and is organized and clean 
clean and I just love decorating so hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully give you some ideas on how to decorate your own house for Halloween and where to get some cute decor I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel I post videos weekly so also let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of this decorating video was and what your favorite decor piece was and also what you're decorating or if you have started to decorate yet hope you guys have an amazing day happy decorating and cleaning and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys